going on YouTube? We're back building this low buck LS motor for my 68 C10. So we posted the last video and there was a lot of people that I'm going to call them internet engineers. I'm not one of them. I'm a guy that can make things happen. And if I can't, I'll watch that next YouTube video to make it happen. And all I'm here to do is kind of spread the word and try to make life easy for you and me. That being said, today we're going to be breaking into this bottom end of this LS motor. We're going to be pulling one rod bolt out at a time and replacing them with these ARP rod bolts. That may not be the correct way to do it. You may talk about, hey, you got to resize your rods. Cool. That's how you do it. Now, if I do it wrong and it works and I'm able to put power to the ground, that's all I really care about. I'm trying to make it easy for you and for me. So let's get started. Okay, like I said, we're gonna break one of these loose at a time. Break it loose, depending on what gen motor you have. There's gonna be, I'm gonna call it a bolt retainer. Some of them have them, some of them don't. You'll learn that basically, see how that's stuck right there? We're gonna grab a pair of pliers, give it a few yanks and it should come right out. All right, like I said, we're gonna grab a pair of channel locks, pliers, you can use vice grips, but I found the easiest way is to get a good and pull it right out of there. See, this right here is what that retainer is. Don't know the correct terminology. Don't really care. I just know it's holding the bolt in and I need to get it out. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to grab ARP hardware, basically throw a little of this ARP lube on there, if I can get it to come out. Uh, see, I get a good amount, and what I do, spin it going in, start it by hand, Instead of using the 10 millimeter, what they call for, I actually use a 3H 12 point, fits nice and snug. Now I just snug it up with the wrench and move right to the torque wrench, going 40 foot pounds. Now that was nice and slow, obviously, typically I don't take that amount of time doing it, but uh, I wanted to do it for your viewing pleasure. Now let's get going and get the rest done. Now I'm, I'm one person that will always go back and check. Being that we've done two bolts now, I'll go back and check. The first one, just... Yeah, good, good. Okay, now we're gonna go finish the rest of them.
All right, guys. Well, that concludes tonight installing rod bolts into this low buck LS motor. As you can see, we didn't use a stretch gauge. We didn't use angle to find our torque. We didn't resize the rods. We put one bolt in at a time, torqued it to 40 foot pounds, and away we go, bouncing off the rev limiter. Like, comment, subscribe, or, you know, just watch the video. Enjoy it. I'm going to. You guys have a good night, and have a good one.